Hi, this is Penny, and in this video we will be looking at the volume of composite shapes. You should already be familiar with some basic shapes and how to find their volume, but here is a review of some of the shapes that are commonly used to create composite objects. The sphere, the cylinder, the cone, the hexagonal prism, the triangular prism, and the rectangular pyramid. So what is a composite shape? A composite shape is a combination of two or more three-dimensional objects. Here is an example of a composite shape from two shapes that have been added together. This house is actually a triangular prism sitting on top of a rectangular prism. Composite shapes can also be formed when one shape is subtracted from another. This hexagonal prism becomes a nut by removing a cylinder from its center. These shapes can also be shapes that have been truncated, and this means that one section has been removed. This cup is actually a large cone with a small cone removed. Let's take a closer look at adding shapes. Here's a warm-up. Can you identify the basic shapes in the following examples? Our first example is an ice cream cone. If we split this into two pieces, we see that there's a hemisphere, or half a sphere, sitting on top of a cone. Here's an example of a traffic cone. This shape can be split into two pieces, a cone that sits on top of a rectangular prism. Monuments can also be great examples of composite shapes. The Washington Monument is an example of a shape called an obelisk. Can you identify the shapes that make up this monument? If you guessed a pyramid and a rectangular prism, you are correct. Our final example is of a hopper bin. A hopper bin can actually be separated into three pieces, a cylinder with a cone attached at either end. Now let's find the volume of a composite object using addition. Here's our example. Sarah wanted to fumigate her shed for ants. If one can of spray will treat 600 cubic feet, how many cans will she need for her shed? First, we need to identify the shapes involved in the image. The top shape is a triangular prism, and the bottom shape is a rectangular prism. Now let's identify the formulas for the shapes we just found. We will be adding these two shapes together. The triangular prism can be given as 1 half B times A times H, and the rectangular prism can be given as L times W times H. Let's substitute the values from our diagram into our volume formula. This gives us volume equals 1 half times 8 times 2.5 times 10 plus 10 times 8 times 7. Using our calculator, we find the volume is equal to 660 feet cubed. Since one can of spray only treats 600 cubic feet, one can will obviously not be enough. Therefore, Sarah will need two cans of spray. In summary, to find the volume of a composite shape using addition, we need to identify the shapes involved, identify the formula required, add the formula to find the composite volume, and then clearly indicate your final answer with appropriate units. Thank you for watching.